Hey friends, I'm Megan. And I'm Jessie. Jessie, how is your new bike? Are you still loving it? Oh my, Galactic Speed Racer 20 inch trail bike? Uh, well I gotta tell you the truth, Megan. I'm actually not uh, allowed to ride it right now. My dad took it away. Oh really? How come? I made a wrong choice. Dad said to only ride it in our yard and to not go out on the street. But... You rode it on the street? Yeah. Now I'm not allowed to ride my bike for two whole weeks. Aw, oh, I'm sorry, Jesse. Thanks, but I should have stayed off the street like my dad said. Yeah, you're right about that. Your dad didn't want you to ride on the street because he wanted you to be safe. God's like that. He gives us rules for our good. David broke God's rules and made wrong choices in today's Bible story. Let's hear what happened. David was the king of Israel. One spring, David sent out the army to fight. He put another man in charge of the army, and David stayed home. One evening, David was walking on the roof of his palace. He looked out and saw a beautiful woman named Bathsheba. Bathsheba was the wife of Uriah, one of the best men in David's army. David made up a plan. He told the leader of the army to send Uriah into the hardest part of the battle. David hoped Uriah would be killed. David's plan worked. Uriah was killed. So David took Bathsheba into his house to be his wife. God knew what David did, and he was not happy with David. God sent Nathan the prophet to talk to David. Nathan told David a story. A traveler came to a rich man who had many animals. The rich man did not give the traveler his own animal. Instead, he took a poor man's lamb, the only lamb the poor man had, and gave it to the traveler to eat. This story made David feel angry. The rich man should be punished, David said. You are the man, Nathan said. God had made David king and given him more than he needed, but David took what wasn't his. David realized he had sinned against God, so David wrote a psalm. He told God he was sorry and asked God to forgive him, and God did. David wrote, God changed my heart. David realized he could try to please God with sacrifices, but that would not be enough to pay for his sin. David's heart needed to change so that he would not want to sin again. God hates sin because it dishonors him and hurts us and other people. When we sin, God forgives us because Jesus took the punishment for our sins when he died on the cross. Jesus changes our heart so that we no longer want to sin.